Okay, in this video we're going to look at creating an HTML document that can then be published to your web server and be browsed by your staff uh, via a web browser. So in this case we've got a process here, we're going to go to the summary area. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all of the links required for the URL. So you go to your status summary here on the right, you can see your custom URLs over here. You would just click on the verify custom URLs here. Give it a couple of seconds, it's going to go out and it's going to check that all of the links to the videos are available. Uh, if they're available, they're in green. If they're not available, they're in being red. So here we're all set here. So then what we do is we go to our custom URL. We select this option here. It verifies the path that it has in here. It's obviously correct because it just pulled them up here. And then what we do is we go to the work instructions. We select the format of the work instructions we want. In this case, the first one. And we select create. create and we select create HTML file here. Notice we can also do a PDF at the same time if we wanted to. We just can do it separately here. We click on the browse and we go out and I'm going to call it my test HTML. And I just click on the OK. Click on the OK here and it will start putting together the HTML document. But first what it does is it goes, creates an XLSM. Everything goes through Excel. So you can see it building the uh, work instructions here, just as it always does here. Notice it's using the play video URL right here. Um, that's indicating that it is in fact a, uh, an HTML, uh, a, a link. You can see it right there if we just hover over it right there. And now it's actually got it there and you can see this. And I can actually click on this link and play it directly back from the, uh, the Excel sheet also. And that would then come up here. You see the operator working right here. Uh, now if we go back and we we'll look and see what we've got out here in our work construction areas here, you can see here it, it's created my test HTML .htm. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to take this file here and this folder here. The folder here contains all the pictures and everything, all the separate sheets and so forth that are called by the source document. The source document being test HTML .htm. So you give them the folder here and this file right here. These are the two items you would give to your IT to put onto your server and then you'll be able to access it via the browser. We can see that if we just double click on here it opens up in a browser so you can see the information coming up in a browser for each of the different sheets here. Right, so you can go through these and of course you can click on the, uh, the links out here and that will take you out directly to the browser and play it back for you here. So again, it's pretty straightforward, just like you would any other work instruction. Make sure you select the custom URL this time though, to show that it's actually going to use the custom URL links. Go to the work instructions, select the format, check the create HTML file, and then continue as if you're making a regular work instruction. 